Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I am so excited to share this project I've been working on in a collaboration with Misfits Gaming. We had so many amazing ideas for this map and eventually decided on creating a large scale bedroom and gaming setup for their mascot Fidget. This was by far one of the most difficult maps I've ever made due to the massive scale I used. When I made this map, the primitive shape gallery wasn't released yet so I had to use cubes to create almost everything in this room. There's a really cool technique with them that allows you to make rings and spears which I used for a bunch of the items in this room. Normally when you use cubes to create a majority of your map, it tends to add a really cartoonish and bland look. But on a large scale using tens of thousands of them, the level of detail you can create is unreal. In this video, I'll be explaining my process throughout making the map. For time's sake, I won't be showing every single aspect of what I do and just the main parts. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So when we were coming up with ideas for this map, the main thing Misfits Gaming and I both agreed on including was a large 3D sculpture of Fidget. The problem was we didn't have a theme to the map pass set at the time, so while we were discussing the possibilities of the map, I went ahead and started making the sculpture that I could eventually just copy and paste wherever I needed to. I used a technique with cubes that I recently mentioned to form a bunch of spears for the structure of the head. Each cube is 3 memory and every spear is over a thousand cubes so to save on space, I had to look for another piece to use and decided that a piece of snow would be my best option. After forming a rough shape of the face, I began looking for a bunch of different props I could use for the facial details. You gotta think outside the box and find random items that you wouldn't typically think of using. Like for example, I found a scarf that I could rotate to the side and use for the goggles. Something flat wouldn't work for the mouth since it's rounded, so I looked around and found the back of a robot arm that I could use. And finally, I used an egg for the eyeballs. Instead of always complaining about what the game doesn't have, you gotta be creative and make do with what you do have. Once I finished up the head, I started making a quick template for the body using some random pieces. This part wasn't that important since I was just using it for size reference. I moved the template to the ground and marked important parts for an outline to follow. This took a decent amount of time because the armor fidget wears has so many unique shapes and curves to it. It's really hard to work with cubes vertically and while you're flying so it's always best to work off to the side and copy and paste whatever you made when you're done. Halfway through this part, I started getting worried about how I did the sides and back of Fidget. Not only did I not have many reference pictures to go off what it looked like, but it's super difficult to curve cubes in a way that wouldn't make it look bad. Luckily, just before getting to that, we came up with the bedroom idea, so I figured I would just be able to cover that part with the chair. Once I positioned Fidget in the chair, I could finally start working on the bedroom layout. I knew that the memory would be a problem if I tried to add a ton of custom items so I had to be really careful with what I added. I began with making a corner desk and all the equipment that would be on it. Before starting this map, we had an idea to have little references throughout the room to hint something related to their brand without it being a dead giveaway. The first reference I did was making the keycaps the colors of their Overwatch team. It was a really good balance of including a reference while still keeping it discreet. Now this was the part I enjoyed making the most. The room wouldn't be complete without having the Misfits Gaming logo so I challenged myself to make one of the most detailed logos on Fortnite Creative using only cubes.
The entire logo took me roughly eight hours over a three day span and came out to be nearly 2000 total pieces. It turned out incredible and I couldn't be more happy with the final result. After copying and pasting the logo above the setup, I made some nano leaf panels to go along with it because it wouldn't be a gaming setup without them. Once I'd figured out my plan for where everything would go, I could finally start adding more to the room. I made a TV that could fill in the empty space on the wall and some speakers to go on each side of the monitors. After that, I made a custom PC to fit in the corner of the desk. I built it pieces at a time to ensure that it would have the correct size for each part. The gaming setup was the focal point of the room. Everything else besides the aquarium was made for background purposes. The aquarium plays another role in the references to Misfits Gaming. I included the remains of a wrecked ship to hint at another one of their teams. The last thing I made was a separate area to the map. I won't show too much of this section because you can load into the map yourself to explore it. The map was super fun to create and I'm very happy with how it turned out. 